finally able to show where I got to with this Meccano model of my Riley Brooklyn's. Um, I've been working on it for quite a while. It's actually been finished for a few weeks. Uh, when I say finished, I do keep tweaking things on it or redoing little bits and pieces. But I've basically reached the point where I've more or less run out of Meccano. Those are all the nuts and bolts I've got left. And I've run out of all sorts of pieces. And I decided to leave it finished at this stage, which pretty much matches the stage that my actual car is at. So it doesn't have the skin on it, that'll hide everything anyway. Um, and I don't have enough pieces or nuts and bolts to actually do a full skin for it. Uh, and this is how it's ended up. Uh, the other thing is I was waiting for my little man to arrive. My little man from China, I keep calling him. Um, it's not meant to be me. It's meant to be Freddie Dixon. So anybody who knows anything about Riley's and Riley racing history will know about Freddie Dixon. Um, it just turned out to, to be that the scale of this car is uh, approximately 1 to 6. And 1 to 6 scale is a very popular scale for modelers for these little articulated figures you can buy. Um, these figures are really cool. They're, they're pretty impressive what range of motion you can get out of them and um, how well they move and how you can pose them. And you can buy all these little outfits um, and I ended up modifying, this was actually a riot helmet that I modified to turn into a, a vintage crash helmet. He's got his little goggles there. He's got his racing overalls and little shoes. I did have to modify the shoes. Um, there's little ball joints on the bottom of the ankles that didn't quite fit those shoes. So I had to drill them out, but that all worked fine. And, uh, you can buy custom heads for them. So... Here we go, my little Freddie Dixon. Uh, if you think he may look a little bit more like Hannibal Lecter, you're not necessarily wrong there. Um, there's an awful a lot of actors' heads available. Uh, they tend to be mostly younger people, or at least the actors from when they were younger. So this was the, the most Freddie Dixon I could get. Um, but I think it does the job and he's pretty much perfectly to scale to the car. So if we look at the car, uh, it does have springs, it's got the front axle there, headlamps similar to the originals, the dynamo on the front. Um, I did touch up the little Riley badge with the same blue nail polish I used to fix the badge on my actual car. See the little valve covers, the magneto. Uh, the steering does work, it's just not very good. So it's quite hard. There's so much slop in the system, but there we go. It does kind of work. Uh, if you come back, there's sort of the engine's just sitting there. It's got the little rocket covers, twin carbs. Uh, in here, you've got the remote gear shifter little gear knob, handbrake lever, the seat back is pretty much like the original where it's just kind of jammed in place, uh, and I have the petrol tank in more or less the right place. So this is kind of how he's come out. And if we look at, this is actually a printout from the CAD model of my actual car. And I was using this to check the model, and you can see it's pretty close to it. Um, it's actually come out very similar. Turn it around. You can sort of see carburetors on one side. Uh, the one thing I don't have, you may notice, is an exhaust. I haven't figured out a good way of doing that yet. So I still need to investigate that. I could use more wire. Um, if you think that this linkage here is kind of bent in a strange way, that's actually 
pretty much how it is on the car as well because the model is fairly accurate the linkages have to be fairly accurate as well uh, you can see it's got the underslung axle at the back with the springs so the the chassis rails go underneath the rear axle um, I have the advanced retard levers there on the steering wheel and I have the little rear vision mirror uh, the doors are offset you can see um, that's really pretty much it uh, it was great fun building it and I might keep an eye out for more Meccano and see what else I can build but I think uh, little Freddy there will fit in there but uh, just like the real car getting in and out is actually really tricky uh, especially with non-opening doors and um, I find I have to remove his feet and then he can get in there you can see I've got the little pedals in there as I say it is modeled on my actual car there's the little battery cut out so if we take this with us Here we go. I don't think it's too bad given it's uh it's just made from Meccano. You see the little fuel filler on the back there, same as on the original. A little seat differential in the back I didn't bother about suspension or anything like that it started getting a little bit too small same with trying to build a, a working gearbox or a working engine it's just too small um, the Brooklyn's is not a big car uh, it's only a little bit bigger than an Austin 7 really it looks bigger it looks like a more solid car but no it's still it's still just a small car but, um, I think uh, I think that's come out reasonably well so what I will do is I will pause this just for a second and we'll put little Freddy in there uh, this was the the side view of the car again based on my CAD model and we can sort of see it's it's pretty close so let's yank his feet off and get him sitting in there so here we have him sitting in the car and if you think it looks like a tight fit and not very comfortable you would be pretty much correct uh, that is what they're like so see there there's not much room in the footwells there's not much room in the cockpit um, and theoretically he should be able to reach out and touch the ground just about I think if he was stretching his fingers a little bit more that would work uh, and that is Pretty much what these are built like. Here we go. So, what do I do with it next? Um, I'm thinking I wouldn't mind trying to get a little glass display cabinet or acrylic cabinet for it um, and maybe mount it up on one of these walls. Uh, but um, I'm really pleased with how it came out. It does roll, of course. That's why I'm being careful it doesn't roll off the table. I think uh, for a representation of a half-built Riley Brooklyn's, it's come out really well. I realised when I was editing the last 
part of that film it was a little bit wobbling I'm not sure what happened to the image stabilizer um, but I thought I'd try and do a much better close-up look at this thing